you lot see the title of the video. I wish it was clickbait. I really wish it was clickbait. But it's not. To get the phrase out of the way, your boy really did die for Nash. Bro. <sighs> Bloody hell, man. Like, yeah, when I made a video, maybe on Monday, coming back to the East Channel, and I find come back to the East Channel, and then when kind of stuff dies down with uni, play two, three weeks later, I was going to hop back on and be a bit more regular. I did not think I'd be uploading a video on Wednesday, I won't lie to you. But over the past 24 hours, well, one time in the last 24 hours, I made a big mistake. A big, big, big mistake, man. And the rightful end, fortunately, get punished. Like, like a football man, it only takes one lapse in concentration. And this was a monumental lapse, fam. I don't care what you've seen from any other footballer in the Prem or any league this season. This is the biggest lap of concentration you have ever witnessed. And I'm hoping, when I make this video, I'm hoping that nothing's happened yet. Nothing does happen. This is just something I'm putting out. In kind of the eventuality that it does start happening, people start asking questions, people start blowing up my phone. I just want to get this video out there first and acknowledge it and take responsibility as a man. Like, I owe that to people and I don't want people to be surprised if a video does come out. But, bro, it's a howler. It's, it, bro, it, it, bro, it's a howler. It, bro. It's down bad, it's down horrendous, it is all of that. I really can't believe, I can't believe I did it. Like, I can't believe, and it's not that bad. Like, I could sit here and explain the situation. I may do another point, maybe part of the story, but it's not really relevant because the end result of what could end up being the main result is an L. It's a loss. Like, and... I just want to say, like, I am honestly really, really sorry because, no, I think, because I know I'm someone where, like, yes, I'm not, like, the most famous, I'm not like, the most blown up person or whatever, but I know through time people have been watching my content um, since I was young and people have kind of always... Some people may have looked up to me or may have looked at what I was doing, kept it along with the journey. And to them, like, yo, I've, I feel like I've let people down, man. Like, I won't lie to you. Like, no, I'm, I'm staying relatively positive. Like, I'm not in a situation where I'm, like, super negative. And I think if this had happened to me two to three years ago, no, maybe two years ago, I think we're actually be very different. Um, I think... Bro, right now, I probably would have gone to the shop. I would have bought some junk food. I would have bought a takeaway. I'd be sitting in my room, bro. I'd be devastated. All the sad songs you could think of, bro. I wouldn't respond to anyone. I certainly wouldn't get in front of the camera like this. Um, and I think the only reason I'm not able to do this is a testament to the work I've done on myself, the work on my mindset, the work on my body. Like, apart from... Apart from this moment, which, yes, it's a monumental L, it's a howler, it's it's sick, it's embarrassing, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not I'm not surprised, I, if you lot think that, I, I agree, <laughs> to be honest, but, like, yeah, I'm expecting, kind of, yeah, I'm definitely expecting banter, some people will definitely hop on this for likes and whatever, like, jokes will be made, like, as someone who's been on the internet since he was 13 years old, and trying to make videos, and trying to make videos, I think people entertain people, and trying to make videos that, um, will kind of blow up and stuff, like, I fully get the internet, I use Twitter, I use Instagram, I use Facebook, I know what it's like, I know, I know what will happen by the fact of me putting out the video like this, but I have to address it because the platform has happened on, um, Facebook is one where people will like it's one where basically I have so many different people, so many different backgrounds. It's not like Facebook just goes up to my friends. It can go up to people that I knew from school, people I knew from work, old jobs, uni, like everywhere. 
church it could go out it can go out to my family it could go out to my family so it's a really big and serious situation man like it's not good like but what i don't want this to happen um and i will kind of get into situation of kind of how this happened as well um is what i don't want to happen is i don't want to give the satisfaction to someone who is probably doing this to loads probably tens and hundreds of other people around the world and yo to the wrong person who isn't mentally as strong man this could ruin someone this could be someone's like yo they could be having a bad life and this could be the last thing you could throw someone over the edge man like nah like the way what i'm being threatened with is very serious like it's it's horrible but you know what, I'm in a situation where life's been good to me. And honestly, in the last few months, I've had more kind of blessings. Life is very good. I've got a family that supports me and loves me. And they know, they know, I, I do know, I appreciate that. And, you know, honestly, I'm really thankful. Um, really good friends. Um, I obviously have been living in London the past six months. Um, so I was living in a like kind of house here. I didn't particularly love it. It wasn't great. It wasn't great for kind of mental. I had down periods. I recently moved place. The place I moved to, I absolutely love. I absolutely love. And I'm here, rent down for the summer. So like, that's really exciting. And there's so many good things coming in my life. Like I've, like, and I was going to tell you this. I'm gonna, I've got like YouTube videos and stuff. I've got loads of plans for the future, but I was going to say this, but like, in terms of like my health and stuff, I've been getting into the gym, I'm playing football, I'm getting running. Um, so even when this information broke today, I was like, I've got two options. I can either go back to the foot, I can even go back to my um accommodation, my flat, and just cry, go back to the room and just cry and eat eat bad food and you always be like, why me, why me? Or I can just carry on with life. And guess what I'm going to do? Because crying. As much as, yeah, it feels good, let it out, let it out, listen to all the sad songs in the world. It does nothing, man. It just gives that person who's out there trying to do something that's messed up, it just gives them like that kind of bit of satisfaction that, yo, they got to you. Yo, you can't get to me. You can't get to me, man. Like, I'm strong, man. Like, and I believe that. So I've already went to the gym. I've got a really good running today, actually. Um, doing Couch to 5K. I'm doing the first kind of run through of it. I'm doing it on the treadmill just because, like, at the constant speed, it's, it's like, oh, you're running out on the street. It's easy to quit. It's like, oh, I'm going up a hill. Oh, well, I'll stop. I'll walk this. But when I'm on a treadmill, like, the first run I'm doing, I'm doing it flat just to make sure I can actually do the distances and uh, and be at a speed that I'm happy with. Um, today, um, was my first attempt, I, and I got through it of doing, like, I think I did 90 seconds, three minutes, 90 seconds, three minutes. And, like, bro, that's unheard of for me. Like, if you played football with me, you, you, you've never seen me run for three minutes, like, at any point. Like, from, like, under eight to, like, Sunday league. Like, my honest, like, you've never seen me run for three minutes. But that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm an online coach that I pay for, and he's brilliant. That's another video I need to make. And I've lost a good amount of weight so far. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, basically... Um, I got caught out on a bad day and it's something that I'm actually, I fully take responsibility for this because I had, it was my day off, I had plans, I had stuff that I needed to do, stuff that I wanted to get done, but I woke up, you know, say every action has a consequence and in this story I truly believe that, so I woke up about nine o'clock, I could have got out of bed, I was a bit tired, but I was like, it's my day off, I'll sit in a bit more, stayed in until about 11, woke up, but then I was in an awkward situation where it's like, is it is it breakfast or is it lunch? I was hardly, it was a bit of both. Kind of overcooked it when I made kind of two meals in one. So I ate that, felt a bit full. So I'm, I'm like down again. I lie down. Uh, I go to get up. I had stuff to do in my room. I wanted to take my washing out and uh, empty the bins. Um, so I was about to do that and I get a message. And this message is... I'm a female and I was like well, I'm gonna do this but because in my day before in my 
kind of not sticking to the routine i've kind of been a bit lazy i've cut corners i've ate a bit too much so kind of dopamine is already going in my head and i'm already on kind of that wrong slide obviously you can correct it at any point but the more wrong decisions you make the more you keep tumbling so i yeah i engaged in this conversation and like it was just a normal conversation and like initially there was little red flags obviously talking to someone on the internet there's always gonna be a bit of red flags especially the property first but the way the account was set up the mutual friends the account had with me like a lot of the things that you would think you basically like red flags they weren't there um but yeah i had all this person i was trying to also i was in my room trying to get my washing and stuff in the basket and ready to go um but then it got to the point as I was just about ready to go, she sends a message and she's like, duh, 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 I'm bored, duh, duh, duh. do you want to do this? Do you want to do, do you want to do that? Do you want to go ever? Are you alone in your room? Stuff like that. And I was a bit like, it's a bit strange, but I went with it. And yo, as I'm, like, I'm not, the weird thing is, I'm not that type of person. Like I'm not someone who, I'm not actively out there. I don't actively chase anyone really that, yeah i'm not someone who goes out the way to actively speak to people especially i wouldn't ever message anyone and be like wouldn't ever message a girl and be like do you want to do what ended up end up doing that which you guys can probably assume from the kind of fear i'm making in the title but yeah so i end up in this bathroom and well, into my <laughs> bathroom. This is such a oh my god! I, mean, I feel like I feel like a prick, like even talking about it. Because even when I was in there, like there was there was hesitations. Obviously, asking for asking for stuff to happen. Obviously, that then they could use later against me. Like for a good tw ten minutes, I was on this phone. Didn't really give anything away. Didn't really. I wasn't really into it. I wasn't even in any sort of mood. Like. Bro, it was bare stupid. Like, it was so stupid. Um, but yeah, I remember my phone. I was looking over the end call. It's stupid. Let me just go down and do the bin. But dope means kicking in. And you know that phrase when that people are just like, yeah, F it. I'm going to do that. F it. I'll do this. F it. I'll do that. S sometimes that works. But I've kind of, from this experience, I've kind of figured it out. So... If you're in a situation you don't know whether to do, it, do something or not, if you weigh up the pros and the cons and you decide that the worst thing that could happen isn't that bad or you wouldn't mind it, you wouldn't mind it being public, then F it's probably a good solution. Like it's probably gonna be positive. But if you say if you say F it and you're given to demands, but you haven't considered what the worst thing possible is then you shouldn't be doing that and if you know something could go wrong if you know that there's a possibility that something could go wrong and i even i even said before like i did what i did and like i even said is this going to be screen recorded like is you got a screen recorder around to the day saying no no and because my brain was in that mood and i've seen stuff on the screen I eventually gave him, like, and I didn't give him for long, like, they literally, if that clip was come out, it's, like, three seconds long. Like, I wasn't even really into it, but I was just, like, I was just, I had an F it moment. And, bro, it's, it's, bro, it, I can't even, bro, it's just, it stinks, man. Um, It's, uh, it's terrible. And, and, yo, you might be thinking, oh, why are we talking about that? Like, are you not, like, worried you're not like oh people are gonna see that da, 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 da. i'm like not really like i'll be real with you it's not like yo i'm not really that i'm not insecure about that like i'll be honest like it's not like yes i know there'll be banter i know i'll probably end up on twitter one day and just like tweet some random football opinion or some boxing thing or whatever and some twitter guy will be like l ratio plus i saw that i'm like yeah whatever like I understand how the internet's going to react in it. Like, people might think you're a bit crazy for like want for knowing, for kind of being like just taking it on the chin. But I read. I've been reading a lot. I've been learning into mindset. I've been meditating, and 
I've just been thinking about the past and I'm in a stage of my life now where I don't want to make excuses for anything. Like, I don't want to... I really don't want to, like... I don't want to make excuses. I don't want to be like, this is bad. And obviously, like I said, it's a precaution. So... It's weird that I've been threatening, they're threatening me with being leaked. Um, it is like just random multiple accounts. Like, it thought it was just one, but then when I blocked that one account, like another one or two popped up, um, just threatening stuff. Um, I mean, I obviously, if they do do it, obviously it's legal. Report it, like, it's legal, obviously, or something. But if they've got a conversation, or screenshots, it was all meant to be private. It's all never meant to come out. Um, but... Unfortunately, it has, but it's a life lesson. And it, with myself, personally, I know, like, and this is just in my heart. heart. So if you're watching at this point, by the way, I know you really care about me because with YouTube, especially with topic like this, people aren't looking to hear the whole thing. People just want to hear the funny part, the thing they can go, ha ha ha. You, like, they just want to, they just want that bit where they can just cuss people out. That's why I say TikTokers are so big right now because, yo, you just get your. Bit of adrenaline, your bit, your, your bit of serotonin, your bit of your um, dopamine, and you're, you're gone, and you're like, oh shit, he makes <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> He's done. He's finished. Da, 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 all that, but but like I, I mean, definitely in a situation now where I know that I take responsibility for what I do, positive or negative. And the kind of the whole point that we're going to be around the rebrand of the channel, I'm going to kind of let you in on it now. And if you listen to this point, I know someone who will actually kind of give give half a care what I'm going to say here. But what the whole point of the channel was going to be when I come back was that I want to be someone where you actively see my growth, you actively see like my downfall, my down days, um, you actively see. Um, kind of my development as a person because I feel like sometimes when you're kind of on Instagram and you're seeing people show the end result people show when they start looking good you'll have like a six month eight month period people are kind of out and go ghost and like they're on then the best shape of their life and you're like oh wow da -da -da, and everything's great and everything's lovely but yo for someone who's yo I've had mad struggles like bro like you have to remember, like, not much you have to remember, but yo is a black guy that grew up in a majority white neighborhood. Um, a guy at one point weighed 26 stone. And now I've got a scandal that potentially could pop out and their people could get a video that obviously I don't want it to be out there. But... Yo, I still believe I'm going to make it. I still believe in the process. I still believe that things are good. I still believe in God's plan. And before, and this is like, these are all mad video topics that I was going to drop individually. But because, and I still will, but because I've had to deal with this and I've had to put a video out today to kind of in preparation for if that happens and people can understand my motive, like... I understand that things happen for a reason and the only thing I can do now is go ahead and make people proud. Like, I understand that pe some people will look at that video and then they're like, well, I don't want to associate this person, it will be this person, this person's an idiot, this person's whatever. Whatever throws out, people won't even look for the context, people won't even click on each video at all. They're just going to let fly and that's fair enough it's like i said it's the internet people are gonna make jokes people are gonna go for their little 5 10 15 likes like it is what it is like and yeah if it happened to a bigger celebrity i'm sure it'd be me like, i probably wouldn't tweet anything but it'd probably be me like liking some post that's quite like sly like so i understand it's gonna happen to me it's gonna happen like um but I, I fully believe, and I believe I'm on the right path. I believe I'm putting the right boarding box in place. Like I say, I'm running fast than I ever have. I'm playing football. I want to get back into boxing. Um, hopefully, by, if not the end of this year, end of next year, I'll be back in the ring, find someone, hopefully, in amateur boxing as well. Or we'll charity, we'll charity fight, either way. Um, but yeah, and also, don't think I don't think I didn't try and block this. Like, 
I did like at the start, like obviously I was especially, I was very worried. I was literally crying. I was on the phone to the person trying to like, obviously get money out of me for like five hours. I was literally, I don't know if I said on the phone, I was, on the, like, I was texting and stuff. Like I even tried to make like a, a payment that they requested. Like, not a big payment, but I did try to make a payment um, to try and stop it. Obviously I do think it's not good for the brand in it. Like, yo, imagine, um, I'm not saying the magic situation because it's going to happen because I am confident that it is going to happen. But basically, in a situation where obviously things go well for me, I have a good productive summer. Uh, I'm in a good place come September. And the channel and the brand and uh, TikTok and Instagram, it goes up. And it comes towards a brand deal. And I'm there and I'm thinking, oh, can I clean break? But then they're like, but yeah, we're aware that this person potentially has this on you and this could come out at any point and, not, and it's like yeah it can make things a bit tacky but i'd like to think kind of if i get to the point where i'm kind of that a bit kind of popping a bit popular and i get to the place where i want to get to in life then you know i would have shown my audience and i'll you'll see a confident enough audience that rise with me that the old brands should mess with it but yeah, it's a massive mistake. Don't think I wasn't upset about this. Obviously, you are finding about this today. I was going through this yesterday. I had kind of my down period, which is why today, although I don't want to sit on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter all day replying to messages, like I still, um, though I'm not going to sit there replying to messages all day, I obviously appreciate people who reach out and will like say good things. Um, and yeah, I understand that obviously, yeah, it's just responded to. Like, I've realised a lot of things in life, you just can't run away. You can't run away from your problems, can't run away from things that go wrong, in it. You just take responsibility and you go again. Um, but yo, like I say, I live in a nice place, good things going on. I've got like two to three weeks left of kind of hard work at uni, um, a bit of graft. And there's good things around the corner. So, yeah. It's, it's very, it's, it's an embarrassing man, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, bro, it's a howler, like, and I'll claim that, and I'll hold that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hold it, like, I understand I'm gonna go out in Burton or something, and it's gonna get brought up all the time, I understand that if this video leaks, man, there'll be pictures and videos floating around, to, I understand this, I understand the internet, like, I'm not, I'm not hiding against it, I'm not here to hide, I am who I am, um, if this is the reason why you decide that you don't like me or you want to hang out, you don't want to see the brand to grow or anything, that's fine. But anyone that does stick around, I fully appreciate it. I fully, and this is something I've seen from everyone who, all the people I think who do well on the internet, who are good. It's about being grateful and like, and that's something I definitely want to incorporate as well. There's a lot of things to be grateful for in life. I live in a nice place, there's food in my fridge. I'm losing weight, I'm getting steps, I get to see London, and yo, I, I have the confidence, man, I'm, I'm, things are going the right way, I've got momentum, I'm not letting some little weird guy or girl in, I don't know where it was, Af it, it was definitely, um, I think it might have been Africa, based on where I sent them, where money had to be sent, but yeah, I'm not letting someone, some fraudster, whatever, I'm not letting them get me down. Um, because it's just not, like, what do I get from that? Like, what, oh yeah, people see this and they're like, oh yeah, no, you should be ashamed of it, you should feel sad. I'm like, it's like when footballers lose and they get angry, it's like, what, or they go out, it's like, what do you want them to do? Do you just want them to sulk? Like, people are humans at the end of the day, do you want them to sit through Facebook and start feeling sorry for themselves and replying to like 50 people? Like, it's dumb, so... Yo, I'm taking this on the chin, it's an L, it's going to get spread around, I don't know, like, obviously I'm hoping it's a precaution, I'm hoping this doesn't actually drop, but if it does, if it does drop, then let me know, we chat, nah, that's going to say Ray out of touch, nah, nah, I don't, nah, I don't want to hear it still, but, I don't, I don't need my, I don't need my, I don't need my, my DMs filled up with that shit, I don't need it, honestly, but, <laughs> No, I, I honestly, I do appreciate it all. I will see the last high things. I hope that it's not something that does come to light because then I have to act on it. People have to start reporting stuff. And yeah, it's just annoying, isn't it? But I take full responsibility for what I've done. I'm okay, guys. Um, that's one of the most important things. I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm feeling strong. 
I'm looking for a good productive summer. I'm looking for like, YouTube videos and everything and whatever hate comes along, whatever kind of last banter comes along, we'll just deal with it. But love to you all, man. <laughs> yeah, I never thought I would make a video like this, man. Your boy, it really happened to your boy. Your boy really died for Nash, man. And yo, I love that line and I'm never going to say it if I ever see um, Dave live, which is sad, man. Dave, let you down, bro. Damn bad, damn, damn horrendous. But yeah, I love to you all. Hope if you enjoy it this far, honestly, you're an absolute legend. Like, I can't thank you enough for actually giving me the chance and hearing me out. It may just be my, it might just be my family listen to it at this point, but like I say, I love you, I love you all. You know, and having kind of people, having that kind of responsibility and be able to have that accountability, man, that's what's gonna make me successful. So that's what I gotta do. But yeah, <laughs> meant to be a normal day. I was just coming on here. I was going to play post on my Insta. I've read a few books recently. Uh, I've read Atomic Habits. I've read, um, I had another book to read, Seven Spritch World Success. I quite enjoyed that one as well. And one's about habits, sorry. Some habits is about habit forming and about kind of moving bad habits out of your life. Seven Spritch Laws about success is more about kind of karma, um, kind of intention, desire. Um, and just being mean involved, which is it's a really good book as well. And uh, now I'm moving on to a book called Deep Work, um, which is actually it's actually ironic because I got distracted from getting into my flow state and getting into a good state of work by that man went out of his way and died for Nash. Right? Like it's peak, like you know, uh, man, like yo, it's peak. But that book, I know now because of what happened. Like these be loads of time. I've got there's a phrase for it where it's like. When you're just scrolling for non-important information. And that, that day, that was what I was doing. I was scrolling for information that wasn't important, bro. Like, you know when you're scrolling your email thinking, oh, yeah, the music contract's coming through. Oh, the YouTube thing's coming through. But you've done no work. You know? You're going to get, like, uni days, 40% off Nando's. Like, fam, <laughs> I, ain't got money. I'm, fam I ain't got money to pay for Nando's, bro. Like, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for Sports Direct 20% off. I'm waiting for, oh, uni disassignments during a week or whatever. I mean, I'm just waiting for bs email i'm waiting for tweets i don't really care about it's like i'm seeing like the millionth will smith meme and stuff like that and like bro there's so much information where you just like compared to your purpose and what you actually need to be doing you just don't need to take it in and that message i saw was not something i needed to take in but i took it in i've been punished severely you're getting a video this is embarrassing this has been your boy thank you very much for your time and yeah, once again, I am sorry, but yeah, if we move, we move on. Thanks.